Right, we're almost there. Almost where we want to be. Once the siege is done. <clears throat> I know, my plot to kill this guy has been revealed. Shame. Real shame. We could repay the Jewish merchants. Actually, let's do that. There's no reason not to do it at this point. We could also go and search for a smith, which allows us to build an item for our treasury. We're not going to do that. At least not until we have about the same amount of gold that we just had before. A sad thing about the life of our current ruler is that he's going to die before achieving his ultimate ambition, becoming the King of Ireland. Alright. So we have one here, which gives us 200 prestige. Lovely. Who are you? My nephew. Anglo-Saxon. Let's have an alliance here. It's her again, isn't it? Yeah, it's Essex. So... Oh, my granddaughters are really turning out quite well, I must say. You're not too shabby either. Alright. So, what we wanted to do is go on one last trip carousing with our sons. And maybe one of these is going to become our friend. Not that we need it. But why not? Once we've done that, we'll switch to hunting. Only one son accepted. Shame. And then we're going to fight up here. Ah, she has an infection, but she's also pregnant. Wow, this woman. She led troops while being pregnant and severely injured. A pact she have. Ah, these are all her vassals. And us, of course. So quite a few. Wow. She is badass. I wish we could resolve this differently. I really wish we could. So these titles that we get, they're kind of depending on certain events in the game and decisions that we make. Couldn't tell you what exactly this one was caused by. Not that it matters. Right. Okay. The party needs some action, I'm going to get un undressed. Then perhaps, yes, I'll bring some animals in here, and maybe, yes, that spear, and then uh, set fire to the table, roast the food over it, and then, uh, where are my pants? Oh, oh, right, I took them off. What now? <laughs> there, there, there you are. Oh, ouch, uh, they just sat on the spear. How, uh, how amusing. I don't know, why, why is everybody laughing? This is great. So we are now cheery for a while, and our son improves <laughs> for four years. Oh, lovely. I've never seen that either. But I like it. Well, he didn't become our friend, but... It was good enough. Right. So, now it's time... To release our tributary. You can see, there's a lot of allied troops in there. We don't have as many, but we have more allies overall. To come. So, we're going to release her. Lose our prestige. And now we're going to go to war. And, okay, sometimes there's this option. Which allows us to press all claims in a single war. My issue is... I hope it means the green flags are not the blue one. I really hope it does. Because if it, if it did, then we get two pieces out of this one war, which would be nice. 
but I don't want to fight a war for this. Does it tell us? Weak claims do not count. Okay, we're fighting for all our strong claims, which are these two. Refin and Kildara. Very good. Very good. So we're going to do this. She doesn't have any allies, except for her direct vassals. So let's take her down a peg or two. Raise our own armies, call in our allies. And honestly, let's call them all in. All the guys we just conquered, all the Irish tribes, especially all our tributaries, they don't seem to mind being in wars for us. So we are getting everyone in here. Everyone. We're not leaving this up to chance, even for a second. What? Chiefess of Kildara is trying to usurp my title. Ah, oh, let's just bribe the guy. And there come in all the acceptance letters that agree to come and fight my war. <laughs> ah, yes. This is going to be fantastic. Right. <laughs> oh god, everyone is coming. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay, we need to turn the speed down a bit. Just look at this. Look at all these armies coming to fight for my righteous claim. And let's help our friend there. Let's put this guy on the flank. This guy in the center. Our son is still fighting, our vassal is still fighting, okay. And now to end this war quickly, we're going to put them all on siege duty. Every single one. They all go to siege. So now their troops are kind of realigning trying to figure out what to do. Well, we're going to attach these two Irish guys to us here. So let's find the symbol there, the white green tree, which is Konata and Ui Main, which I don't know exactly who that is, but it's fine. We just want one more army attached to ours to fight this. Okay, let them come. And once they can't stop moving anymore, we're going to jump them. Because this is a fair battlefield. A fair, fair battlefield. They have a chance here. Let's attach the blue guys. Blue, 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 blue. Blue. These guys. Let's attach them too. Everyone else, go siege. So as you can see, Balance battle. She's here, but so are we. Our man Scandal has won a flawless victory against her flank. And that's how the Irish cookie grumbles. Good. Uh, let's speed this up a little bit. Honestly, the enemy armies aren't really do our allied armies are not really doing anything. So let's let's send them a little bit more focused. You guys go here, and the red stripey guys go there as well. So the red dragon is probably you guys. Nope, that's not you.
Well, let's set some different orders then. Let's have them hunt down the enemy. The ones that have no order at all, I've given individual orders, so let's see what happens. Because I believe while they can't, or when they can't hunt down an enemy, they're just going to stand still and siege anyway. So, it's the best outcome. Let's wait for them to clean up. So technically we didn't break an alliance, but we also have to go fight again, because our allies aren't doing all too well yet, which is fine. We can just fight and win, gain glory. She is so brave, I'm really impressed by her. I like her. She has spunk. Spunk, I tell you. Doesn't really help against basically all of England and Ireland ganging up against you. But I want to name a child after her. I really want to do that. I hope I can remember her. Once a new grand child is born. Good, so let's siege the things that we actually want. <laughs> right, look at this, our allies. Just pushing through now. See the AI, if they have so many troops, they just force their troops in. All right, there we go. We have won admirably. So now it is time for Glitterhoof to go give us some more claims. Let's check. So all of these are ours as well now. They're not vassals or anything. So we dealt a pretty severe blow to her military might. She doesn't want a non-aggression pact. I, I wonder why. Oh well. She's a great lady. I really admire her. I really do. Not looking down at her at all. But she's a little bit in my way. Just a teensy teensy little bitty. It's not worth it. This one is going to be the next thing that's worth building. And while we wait, we could create more tributaries to get more prestige. There's still a lot over here. And I don't think... Nope. Calling our tributaries into war does not change the opinion of us. Which is really cool. I was not aware. Because your vassals sure as hell not going to like it. Oh god, he's cancers and he has consumption. He's going to die soon. My good friend. Shame. But death in the end comes for us all. Let's make her our friend. I really admire her. She is the picture of an Irish woman. Well, let's see. What do we need to form a kingdom? Found a new kingdom. What do we need to do? We have a prestige of greater of 1,300 gold. We need to hold three duchy tiles. We have one. We need to have a realm size greater or equal of 35. 
None of which we have. Oh, she has formed an alliance with the King of West Francia, which sounds impressive. But there's no ships yet. So he's never ever really going to send his troops. And even if he did, he can field 4,000 troops. That's nothing against the juggernaut I have assembled here. Plus, let's check this. Let's do this. How are you allied? Betrothal between King Egedes and Ornat. So we're going to go here. Find that little girl. And have her taken care of. Which sounds cruel, and I admit it is sort of cruel, but all for the good of the realm. We can bri bribe the spy master of hers, who increases our plot power quite a bit. Then, of course, we can send our own spy, who's kind of worthless, but we're gonna. Who knows, maybe he does one thing in his, all in his whole career. And that is help kill an innocent child to dissolve an alliance. I mean, we could also try to plot and kill him. But we have more chance trying to kill the little girl. Look at this, my granddaughters. Already pregnant. Taking care of succession. Ah, uh, let's hope she has a daughter so we can name her after her. She's really good. Really quite good. Pregnancy, good woman. Lovely. And her father, my son, still has not gotten a single male heir. Okay, well, that's fine. So she wants us to join her war because she's in alliance with us. We could go or we couldn't. And we're not gonna. Well, so who are you? What is this about? Accession claim on Kent War. Kent is this. So you claim this. How many troops do we have at our disposal? Ah, no, 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 no. Sorry, lady, we need to raise our troops. We have no time to help you in your silly wars. You're going to lose. I mean, what we could do is we could raise our church vassal levies. Actually, we're going to do that. Let's get our church vassal levies. Oh, yes, 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 yes. She is my grand grand daughter. So she shall be named after her that's your name little lady she was a great ad adversary of a great bloodline which is a new mechanic which I haven't really experienced yet because I ain't a great bloodline and I also can't found a great bloodline at least not yet I don't know how that happens so we're going to take our church vassal levies. Bunch them up together, nice and tight. Then we're going to take our friendo over here and have him lead them down against the enemy. I mean, whatever could go wrong gets the whole of this army behind him. I think we're doing our part. Ooh, no, we get stressed. But, since we have so many friends, there's a good chance someone is going to help us decompress a bit. And it's not a sexual thing. I, I just would like to point that out. Actually, I think the Irishmen should do the Valiant and write the... Oh, okay. I'm sure that if I use my influence, I hold over my tribes to increase her standing. Queen Finneacht 
might come to appreciate me more. I am not losing. I can spare a few words for her. Yeah, let's lose some prestige for her. She gave us a lot. It's only fair we pay a little bit forward. It looks like the few words I spared for Queen Finnert were the only thing that was needed for her to warm up to me. Oh. She likes me a little bit better now. Our valiant troops are coming to change the tide of battle like they did in Braveheart. Well, they arrived a little late, but only a little late, and I still think they did really, really good there. And we have a war contribution of 0%, <laughs> which, I mean, we killed one of them. That says something about the Irish spirit. They might slaughter all of us, but we shall be damned to hell if we don't take at least one of them with us. The English swine. 